Hi. Um, today I want to introduce um, a new, uh, I've got a new project, a new learning project. And my new learning project is, uh, for the last year and a half, my learning project has been the ukulele. And I practice every day, um, sometimes for an hour or more. And I've got better, I can basically play the ukulele now. And uh, uh, I quite enjoy it and I'm going to keep playing. Um, but a little less because there's something else that I want to kind of practice on, make my focus. And the thing I want to focus on is, is Japanese. Um, uh, my Japanese is okay. Um, you know, I can talk and I can hear and I can function, I can understand. Um, but um, there, there is kind of a limit. You know, I, I'm pretty far from a native speaker. And I've always kind of been aware of that and kind of a little bit... Um, sort of resigned to the fact that I came to Japan as, as an adult and there's probably a limit to how good I can get. Um, but recently, this week, I've been watching uh, a guy called Dogen on YouTube and his, his Japanese absolutely phenomenal. Uh, let's see if I can edit in a, a quick clip here. ようもつ there we go. That's, if you don't speak Japanese, it's probably difficult to tell. But if you do speak Japanese, you've already probably realized that guy's a native level. He's not even a just a native. He's an exceptionally articular native level. He, his Japanese is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and so I'm kind of seeing uh, new possibilities. Um, at first I thought he must have gone, uh, grown up here, at least gone to high school or something. But I, I did a little reading on the internet about you know how he learned Japanese and it turns out no, he started uh, learning Japanese as a university student and he got to his, his current level through time and effort hard study and an intelligent study um and so he's kind of shown me that there's, there's a whole there's way way further that i can take this than i currently have and so that's my new <laughs> challenge is i don't know if i can get a historian son that you know <laughs> i have a job to go to uh and a family to play with but i can certainly improve and so that's my new challenge. So I'm going to kind of put the ukulele aside, play it a little bit, and um, and concentrate on my Japanese. And uh, what's interesting is that there's already quite a lot of a record of my current Japanese speaking ability because I've been use doing all these YouTube videos. And so um, we'll be able to compare. Um, we'll be able to look at the, the videos in a year's time and see how they compare to you know my speaking ability now. And hopefully I'll have gotten better. Um, we'll see. All right. So, um, thanks very much for watching.